Now the Amazon settlement in Rome taught to war is a very known easter egg, but there's another one very very close to it that very very few people know of. We're not even sure if it is an easter egg, it might just be a coincidence. But to the right there's a load of trees, and somewhere in those trees there's a different tree texture, where there's seven trees that they look more like apple trees sort of thing. Now this is very interesting because you cannot actually see it by just having an army as close to it as possible because it's blocked by the other trees, so you cannot actually see it without using console commands. Now I brought it up a while ago and I didn't know where it was and someone came back to me with a comment and I kind of believe it. Credit for this one goes to Soldat NR444. He thinks these trees are a reference to the Hesperids. It is said that the Hesperids are living at the edge of the Greek known world, and they're a mount number between 3 to 7, which is the amount of trees that we see in the game. So that's one accuracy. It is also said that the Garden of the Hesperids is located in Hyperborea as well, which is the region name of the Amazon settlement. These trees, according to mythology, are meant to carry the apples, which will grant you eternal youth. Wow. Thank you to Soldat for that. So yeah, it fits two different categories, and I believe that these trees are a small easter egg to them, and very, very few people know of this one. Well done, Soldat. Welcome to a video that covers Easter eggs in the old Total War titles, Rome 1 and Medieval 2 Total War. Some of these you may know, some Easter eggs out there might not make it onto this list. This is just a list of some of my favourite ones, and some that are a little bit less known. Number 2, there's a Monty Python reference in the aqueduct. What have the Romans ever done for us? is in the building's description, which is a line from one of their films. Another Monty Python reference makes its way into the unit Judean Zealots. The description right at the bottom mentions the People's Front or the Popular Front. This unit and that choice of words is a reference to another Monty Python film. Well, actually the same one. But that's not a, a rare thing, it's like Monty Python references make, make their way into many uh, video games like Civilization as well. Number 4. Start a new campaign as the Seleucid Empire. Then go to war with the Egyptians and eventually the Egyptians will send you a diplomat asking for you to become their protectorate. Their greeting to you will include the phrase all your base are belong to us. This is a popular internet meme based on a broken English phrase found in the opening cutscene of the 1992 Mega Drive Genesis part of the 1989 arcade video game Zero Wing, where they actually mistranslated the subtitles. So it said, all your base are belong to us, which is what the Egyptians asked for Seleucid Empire uh, when trying to become their protectorate. Number 5. This is one that most of you probably know. The medieval two talk to war gravestones in the churchyard have the names of the developers on them. Not much more to say, but there's some recognisable names in there that you can also find in the credits. In medieval two talk to war, there is a rebel settlement called Domus Dulcis Domus, which in Latin translates to Home Sweet Home. Why is that there? I've got no idea. It's just a small little Easter egg, which of course many people do know this one, but it still had to make it on the list. It's a, it's a small one, it's a funny one, I like it. Last but not least, we have one for Medieval 2 Talk to War. When you play as France, there is a chance that one of the generals has the name Lancelot. Of course, as a reference to King Arthur. Now, a lot of you know this one, um, it's a very well-known thing, but there's another small thing added onto this. Now, I cannot say for definite if this is true, 
because when I tried it, it did not work, I could not get it to work. And very few people have ever heard of this or said that they've seen it. Apparently, if you get an English princess and you use her to seduce a French general, then that general, there's a chance his name will, will change to Lancelot. So there's actually a chance of a name change. Now, some people have confirmed this, and it's not just one source, it's sort of like, I've seen two or three references to it in my research. But there's really nothing else, and I tried it over and over again, I could not get it to work. Maybe it only works on a particular version, maybe it's only disc version, I, I've got no idea, but apparently this is an easter egg in the game. But even if it's not true, the Lancelot bit as a character is true who can appear in game. But whether you can actually have someone's name change into that may or may not be true. So yeah, if you're impressed with any of these easter eggs or if you learnt anything, please do subscribe and like the video, it helps me grow, makes these videos more worthwhile. If you know anyone who would be interested in this video at all, please do share it. And also let me know if there's any easter eggs that I missed. Of course there's going to be a lot, but any big ones, any really good juicy easter eggs or any theories about the game or anything like that, I'll be happy to hear them. And if they're really good, I might do a video on them. Anyway, I've been Melkor, and until the next one, goodbye.